then goes down and see the mayor and see if the city council will pass something and maybe by tomorrow, next week, we can get something through and get them a little food. I'm glad Jesus can work instantly, aren't you? Oh, I've seen him do it. Yeah. I've seen people have problems and they probably never thought I thought about them, but I would pray for them and on. And next time we'd see them, it's all worked out. You know, even better than I ever thought it could. Well, you know what? It all worked out. He said, seat them. You know, sometimes we got to just sit down and see what God's going to do for us. Hmm? Now, we can run around telling everybody, and we can make a big thing out of it, and we can put it in the comment line, as I said, and write a letter to the editor and so on. But sometimes we just need to sit down and say, Lord, I'm hungry. I need a meal from heaven. I'm hungry, and I need a meal from heaven. Jesus will say, come hither. I've got one for you. Oh, hallelujah. Do you ever feel like you're as lost as a goose in the six-lane highway, but knowing good and well you hadn't done anything wrong? You were saved. And then you get out the Bible, and you just open it up, and there's a scripture that reaffirms that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, accept him. The blood of Jesus blots out all sin. And you can look that devil in the face, say, devil, just keep on lying all you want to. My God just told me the truth, and he said, I'm saved. Amen. He said, I'm saved. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Well, quickly, they did eat. Well, God wouldn't do that for me. A preacher, you, you've been there a long time, and it's different back then. Well, listen, the devil's no different back then. He's no different now than he was back then. Devil wanted me to go to hell when I was 18 years old. Devil still wants me to go to hell tonight. But I got news for him. I don't have a ticket for that train. I've got a ticket for the glory train. I don't have a ticket on that train. I can't get on it because I don't have a ticket. I've got a ticket for the other one going in the other direction. I've got an engineer that's brave going to take me to that journey there. Praise the Lord. What's the Bible say? Well, they fed about half of them. Yes, I had the other had to go home, go away hungry. <laughs> I've seen people come to revival, conviction so heavy, you couldn't stir it with a stick. I've seen people cry, hang on to a seat to a shook in front of them, and walk out the door without God. I've seen people on the same revival go to an altar of prayer, get rid of that guilt and sin, and raise up shouting victory. But you know what? They walked away. But Jesus wants to feed everybody. All of them. And the Bible says they were all what? Filled. I thank God tonight you can be filled. You don't get half full of Jesus. You don't get half full of church. But you'll be filled to that point to where. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. This is great. You get filled until you want God more than anything else on the face of this earth, you want the Lord. We need to be filled tonight. Not half full, not half empty. If you're a pessimist, it'd be half empty. Optimist, it'd be half full. But brother, I don't want to be a pessimist or an optimist on the, on the, on the hand. I want to be way over there on the F. I was famous for that in school. I want to get over there on the F. Where it's full. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You ever drive down the road and wonder if I got enough gas to get to the next station? Y'all can get a song. I got enough gas to get to the next station. Huh? And your wife says, I told you to fill up back there. <laughs> well, I thought I had enough. And you're just on pins and needles, just hoping that that car will keep going. You know, I don't want to live my Christian life that way. <laughs> I've been to the station. I have filled up. And if it starts to get a little bit low, I go back to the station and I fill up because I want to make it beyond tonight. I want to make it beyond tomorrow. I want to make it beyond next week. I want to make it beyond next year. I want to make it throughout eternity because Jesus said, come hither. Oh, praise God. Woo. 
And won't it be wonderful on that day when we arrive and Jesus looks out at the crowd that's dressed in white robes and white crowns of glory and bids to all of us, come on in, come hither. And there we come hither to the end of this world, to the beginning of one that will never die, where there'll be no more problem, no more sickness, no more death, no more sorrow. And we'll all be there with those that have gone before. And if we go on and the people save, we'll be with those that come after. Thank God, all because Jesus said in our life, bring them hither. Praise God. That's what God's saying tonight. Aren't you glad that you obeyed the voice, obeyed the voice of God? And you came hither as we stand tonight. If you have a need. I'm glad I came hither to God's house tonight.